Well, this is numbers lesson 5.2. In this, I will discuss divisibility rules based on binomial theorem. Now, binomial theorem says that a power n minus b power n, where a and b are numbers, integers. This equals to a minus b, a power n minus 1 into b power 0 plus a power n minus 2 into b power 1. What's the pattern? The power of a will start decreasing and the power of b will start increasing by term, each term. This is n minus 3, this is b square and so on. Finally, the power of a would be 1 and 0, a power 1, b power n minus 2 plus a power 0, b power n minus 1 and that how it will end. Now you can see that tot uh, total power in each term, the sum of powers of a and b in each terms, sum of powers of a and b is always equal to you can see that this is n minus 1 n minus 2 plus 1 you get this sum this is n plus n minus 1 n minus 3 plus 2 this is also n minus 1 so sum of powers will always be n minus 1 for each term and what the pattern is pattern is that the power of a start decreasing and the power of b start increasing till the maximum power of b becomes n minus 1 this is the binomial theorem. All the formulas that we have learned in our school are based on this binomial theorem. For example, a square minus b square. What will be this formula? This would be a minus b here n is 2. If you put n is equal to 2 in this, what you will get? a power 2 minus 1, a power 1, b power 0 plus a power 0, b power 1 and that will end. Can I say this equals to a minus b into a plus b? So whatever you have crammed in the school that are based on this binomial theorem. Same way, a cube minus b cube also comes from here. That would be a minus b. The power of a square into a square b is 0. a1 b1 plus a0 b square. And that, that is what we know a minus b a square plus a b plus b square that is that is the formula for a q minus b q and how it comes for a q plus b q this is same as a q plus minus b q you can see that this is minus minus b q a q minus minus b q because minus b q will be the same you can these these two things are the same now uh, put the value of uh, b in place of now what will be the change we have to put minus b instead of b in the above formula in this formula we have to put minus b instead of b so what will get a minus minus b a square minus b power 0 a power 1 minus b power 1 a power 0 minus b square what this formula become a plus b this would be a square minus b power 0 is 1 a square minus a b plus b square that will be your formula so all the formulas that you have learned in your school comes from this binomial theorem and it is very very important from exam point of view because many time a question used to come on this now what we are going to how the divisibility rule question are based on this now we know that a square minus b square a square minus b square this is a plus b into a minus b it means that a square minus b square is always divisible by a. from where you can say that a square minus b square is divisible by both a plus b as well as a minus b a square minus b square same we can extend for the higher powers if I say that for example a power n minus b power n where n is even as you can see that here the power is even 2 and 2 a power n minus b power n 
when n is e1 4 6 8 10 to anything then a power n minus b power n is always divisible by both a plus b and a minus b extension of the a square minus b square whenever n is even that will always be divisible by both a plus b as well as a minus b for example if i say that 13 power 30 minus 6 power 30 this will be divisible by both 13 plus 6 and 13 minus 6 this number will be always divisible by 19 and 7 that is the basic concept and question will be based on this kind of concept 13 power 30 minus 6 power 30 because the, this is of the form a power n minus b power n when n is even next we know that a cube minus b cube this is a minus b into a square plus b square plus a b now this a cube minus b cube this is divisible by only a minus b it is not divisible by a plus b so same we will extend for the higher power a power n minus b power n when n is odd here you can see that n is odd a power n minus b power n when n is odd is always divisible by only a minus b for example 30 powers 19 minus 17 power 19 this will always be divisible by a minus b that is 13 minus 17 13 30 minus 17 13 this number will be divisible by only 13 so very important a power n no need to cram you know that a cube minus b cube you only understood that a cube minus b cube extend it to the higher powers a q minus b q you can see that power is odd and this is divisible by only a minus b and same will be true for the higher power and what the third concept you know that a q plus b q this is a plus b a square plus b square minus a b we just completed so it means that a q plus b q is only divisible by this is only divisible by a plus b and same extent for the higher power a power n plus b power n when n is odd this only divisible by a plus b so no need to cram whenever you see a power n plus b power n n is odd you must understood that this is related to this concept a cube plus b cube we know that a cube plus b cube is always divisible by a plus b and same will be true for a n plus b n a power n plus b power n when n is odd for example if i say that 9 power 17 plus 8 power 17 this is always divisible by a plus b that is 9 plus 8 17 this number is divisible by 17 only not 9 minus 8 no 9 minus 8 it will in this case it will be divisible because it's 1 but it's only divisible by a plus b now question number one is find the remainder when 23 power 27 plus 22 power 27 is divided by 45 15 3 and 5 these are the question number one this is question number two this is three and this is four now uh, how to uh, solve this question this is of the form a power n plus b power n when the power is odd this number is the form a power n plus b power n and n is odd now what formula or what concept should come in your mind a q plus b q only three concepts are there and in this case we will understand uh, the use of a q plus b q now a q plus b q you know that is always divisible by a plus b and same way a power n plus b power n whenever n is odd is divisible by a plus b so this is divisible by 23 plus 22 that is 20 45 this number is divisible by 45 so remainder would be 0 and very important once we know that number is divisible by 45 the number this let's say this is number n this is divisible by 45 number is divisible by 45 the same number will always divisible by all factors of 45 and will always be divisible 
बाय ओल फैक्टर्स ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव सो विल इट डिविजिबल बाय फिफ्टीन येस बिकॉज फिफ्टीन इज ए फैक्टर ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव सेम इज थ्री एंड फाइव फिफ्टीन थ्री एंड फाइव आर ओल फैक्टर्स ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव इफ ए नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय फोर्टी फाइव इट विल ऑलवेज बी डिविजिबल बाय फिफ्टीन थ्री एंड फाइव 